Fun Friends, we are back for another episode of Mad Science! Thanks for joining us. For this video, you are going to need, or for this experiment, you're going to need seven either cups or jars or um, something with a wide opening at the top. And that you want it to be clear so you can see through it. So seven of those. You'll need some water and you will need food coloring in red, yellow, and blue. So just three primary colors. And then you will need six paper towels that are like this rectangular size. Most of us have paper towels now that are like the select your own size. So six of these. So gather up your materials and we'll meet you back here in just a sec. Okay, so now that you've got all your materials together, let's get started. Today we are going to make a walking rainbow. That's what this is called. So when you have your seven cups or jars or whatever you're using, you want to line them up across the table so that they are right next to each other. You're going to put water in only four of them. So you're going to put water in the first one, skip the second one. Water in the third one, skip the fourth one. Water in the fifth one, skip the sixth one and water in the last one. So only the last one, the first one, and two in the middle have water, okay? So what we're going to do first, so that we have time to let the water take in the color, is in the very first cup, you're gonna put some red food coloring. And we were pretty um, generous with the amount of water that we put in our cups, so you can see more than halfway full. So you'll wanna fill them up pretty well. All right, let's give that a stir and see if it's Enough. nice and red. Well, maybe put a little more. Okay. Add some more. You want to put a good amount of food coloring in your jar so it's a nice, vibrant color. Oh, yeah, even more. So you're going to put red in your first jar. And the next jar that has water in it, you're going to put yellow. And be generous with your food coloring. Don't, uh, you want to put several drops of food coloring in there so it's a nice bright color. You can put more red in there. That's a lot of red. Yep. I think it's all red, guys. So we've got yellow in there. And then you're going to put blue in the third jar that has water in it. Oh yeah. This is that good. Give it a mix. Because oh um, yeah, that's great. Blue is like more darker. This blue is dark. Yeah, blue is dark. And then in your very last cup that has water in it, you're going to put more red. jars with the color in them. You should have red, nothing, yellow, nothing, blue, nothing, and then red at the end. I'm just giving this one a mix because it's a gel food coloring so it doesn't mix as easily. But I was out of other reds. So just like you're doing at home, <clears throat> excuse me, just like you're doing at home, I'm going to make do with what I have. We're going to make it work. I'm going to put a little bit more in here. Let me see, maybe I can get some of this, a little bit more of this liquidy red out. And maybe a teensy bit more of the gel red. All right. 
So you want to make sure that your colors are nice and mixed. They look great. The water is nice and colorful. And we are now going to get our paper towels ready. So once you have all the colors in your cups or jars or whatever you're using, you're going to take your paper towels. They look like a big rectangle. You're going to fold them in half lengthwise. So some of you might call this like a hot dog fold, not a hamburger fold. So fold them in half lengthwise and then fold them in half again. So you're going to make long skinny strips of paper towels and you want to make sure you fold them really good. So this is what you'll have. You're going to do this with all six of your paper towels. Can you do that with this one? Mm -hmm. So fold it in half lengthwise, the hot dog fold and then fold it in half again. And then smush that crease really, really good. You'll do this with all six of your paper towels. You can definitely have a grown up help you with this task if it's a little tricky. Good job. Wanna do another one? Mm-hmm. Thank you. Okay, so while Harley's folding that last paper towel, I'm going to give you a little tip as well. So what we're going to be doing with these is we're going to be putting one end in each jar. The trick is we don't want them to stick up way too much. So you can take two of your empty cups and put these in and see, you might want to cut off a little bit of the length. You might not have to. It depends on what size your, your jars are. So. You're gonna, this is how we're gonna do this, is we're gonna put one end in each cup. So ours look like they're actually pretty good, so we don't need to trim them. If your cups or jars are shorter, you might need to trim a little bit off. No big deal if you do. You will just take some scissors and make sure a grown up is helping you and cut off a little bit off of the end. No big deal. All right, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show Harley how to do the first one and then she's gonna do these with me. So you're gonna take your first paper towel you're going to put half of it in the second jar that's empty, and then you're going to put the other half in the red jar. All right, and now you're going to take your second one and put half in the empty jar and the other half in the yellow jar. And then you're going to keep doing that so that you have like a zigzag of colors or of paper towels. Job. And you can already see the paper towels are pulling that water up from the cups. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll put in our last one. All right, and now you get to watch and see what happens. But you might have to wait a while for it. Yeah, it might take a little while, yeah. so we're going to wait and watch and see. You can see that the paper towels are pulling the water and color up from the jars with the water and color in them. Pretty cool. The red is my favorite. The red's your favorite? Uh -huh. Why is it your favorite? Uh, it looks like strawberry water. Because that's a sea. And that's my water. So we're going to let these sit for just a little while and we will come back and show you our results in just a little bit. We started down here with the red and the red and the yellow mixed to make orange and then we have yellow and then the yellow and blue mixed to make green then we have blue and the blue and red mixed to make a purple color and then we have red again so you might be wondering how in the world did that happen 
So what happens is on each of the paper towels, there is a process called capillary action. You don't need to remember that, but just wanted you to know the word, which is how the water, the colored water goes up the paper towel because we know that gravity pulls things down, but this water is going up because there are tiny little gaps in between the fibers in the paper towel that allow the water to travel upward. So once it goes up with one color, we have the paper towel pointing down into another jar. So it goes down into the next jar and then it mixes with the color next to it because we have a paper towel from that jar into the next color. So it's a really cool science experiment that shows us how we can work against gravity sometimes. And it's also a really cool art experiment because it shows us how we can mix primary colors, which are red, yellow, and blue to make new colors. So red and yellow make orange. So you have your red and your yellow and it made orange. And then we can have yellow and blue. When we mix them together, we get green. And then finally, when we have blue and red, we mix them together and we get purple. So this is a super cool experiment. I hope you guys will try it out at home. It does take quite a long time, so you have to be very patient and come back and check on your colors. But the end result is pretty cool. I hope you guys enjoy it, and I can't wait to see if you try it at home.